Hello everyone! In this video, we will review the functionalities of InfoPlanner, the all-new radio planning tool by InfoNet Wireless, available at infoplanner.infonetwireless.com. You can access InfoPlanner from the InfoNet Wireless website, infonetwireless.com, in the Our Services section. InfoPlanner incorporates and improves on our previously available PTP link estimator and range calculator tools, providing the perfect means to estimate and design future point-to-point -point links according to your precise requirements. The first step is to create a user account by pressing the Sign Up button or to log in with your registered email address and password in case you already have an account. InfoPlanner is a cloud-based application, therefore you can access it from your web browser without having to install anything on your PC. Your projects will automatically be saved and stored in the cloud on your account, so if you close the app, you will find everything just as you left it when you return. In the top section of the web page, you can expand the current project settings where you can import sites from a KMZ file. You can create a new project, edit the name of the current project, or you can change the distance measurement system. InfoPlanner features two operational modes for point-to-point -point links. The first mode is the calculator mode, used to theoretically estimate distance or availability versus throughput for a point-to-point -point link without adding the location coordinates. This mode is especially useful for high-level specification compliance verifications and quick equipment comparison. The second mode is the geolocated mode, which you can use to perform in-depth RF planning for point-to-point -point links by adding the location coordinates and mast heights. This mode also takes the terrain profile into account. I will now show you how to use the Calculator mode. In the right side of the web interface, there is the Settings panel where you can perform link and site settings. First, let's set the environmental conditions in which the connection should be established. Terrain type, for this example I will choose Average Terrain, and Climate type, I will set it to Humid. Then, you can set the measurement criterion, distance or availability. For the desired distance, InfoPlanner will predict the availability of the link, and vice versa, for the desired availability, InfoPlanner will compute the maximum distance. Depending on your link requirements, you can impose either distance or availability as the main input criterion. Let's select Distance for now, and set it to 30 km using the bar or introducing it directly as a number in the corresponding field. Next, let's take a look at the channel settings where we can set the frequency range, central frequency, channel width and transmit power limit. In our example, I will select 4.9 to 6 GHz for frequency range, 5.25 GHz for central frequency, a channel width of 40 MHz, and I will limit the transmit power to 25 dBm. Please note that in calculator mode, the devices are not positioned on the map. Positioning is only done in the geolocated mode. Then, we can perform the site settings for each site from the Site Settings panel, where we can select the equipment from the drop down lists or import it from another site. Regarding the device type selection, we can either do it from the Site Settings panel using the Device Model option or from the Equipment and Results menu. Let's proceed to the Equipment and Results menu. There are three steps to follow in order to get the results of the estimation. Step 1. Choose an equipment for Site A. I will select the Infolink XG with 28 dBi integrated antenna. Step 2. Choose an equipment for Site B. I will use the same equipment type as for Site A. Please note that only the devices that are compatible with the unit chosen for Site A are available. And Step 3. Check the estimation report. The estimation report shows two opposite modes of operation for our link. The first mode, called Maximum Availability, offers the advantage of a robust and reliable link with very short outage durations at the cost of having the lowest throughput. The second mode, called Maximum Throughput, allows you to use the highest possible throughput values at the expense of link reliability, so the network downtime will be a bit higher. For more detailed information, please check the detailed performance report that shows the predicted performance at every modulation. Please note that some of the modulations may be marked as unavailable. In our example, some modulations were missed due to the selected humid climate type setting. Even after generating the report, 
it is still possible to modify the distance or any other parameter. The results will be immediately updated accordingly. If you wish to save the report on your PC, you must scroll down to the bottom of the Equipment and Results window and download the Mounting Guide. The exported PDF document contains all the estimation data and instructions for antenna alignment. Please note that in Calculator mode, mounting data and path profile are not available because the devices are not positioned on the map. InfiPlanner can also estimate distance based on the desired availability of the link. To do this, go back to the Map tab Select Availability instead of Distance in the Link Settings panel and set the required availability to 99.99900%. Then, switch to Equipment and Results and repeat the same three steps mentioned earlier. As in the first case, the estimation is also shown for two opposite modes of operation, Maximum Distance and Maximum Throughput. Let us now learn how to use the Geolocated mode. To activate it, simply hit the geolocated link switch at the top of the link settings panel. Here, we can also adjust the radio parameters, if necessary. I will keep the same input data that I have used for the calculator mode. You can import the coordinates from a KMZ file, as mentioned earlier, but in this example, we will set the locations for our sites manually using the site settings panel of each site. There are two ways of doing this. The first method is to fill in the coordinates or address in the coordinates field. The second way is by clicking on the Set Coordinates on Map button located beneath the coordinates field and then dragging the site across the map in order to place it in the desired location. To predict the signal propagation, InfoPlanner uses a combination of ITURP530 and ITURP838 and Longley Rice model considering climate conditions. The colored line between the two sites depicts the quality of the link in terms of line of sight or LOS. When the line is green, it means that we have a clear path from one antenna to the other and the transmission conditions are optimal. If the line is yellow or red, it means that there are obstacles blocking the path between the antennas and some measures need to be taken. Otherwise, the link will have very low performance or it will not be operational at all. For a better view of the transmission path, activate the Terrain Profile tool by clicking on the Show Terrain Profile bar at the bottom of the web page. In order to improve the link quality, the height of the antenna can be adjusted for each site, either from the Terrain Profile tool or from the Site Settings panel. The results of the estimation can be generated in exactly the same way as for the calculator mode. Proceed to the Equipment and Results tab and then follow the three steps. Step 1. Choose an equipment for Site A. I will select Infolink 2x2 R5000 MMX with 23 dBi integrated antenna. Step 2. Choose an equipment for Site B. I will use the same equipment type as for Site A. And Step 3. Check the estimation report. The report shows the same parameters as for the estimation based on distance from the calculator mode in the two opposite modes of operation, maximum availability and maximum throughput. Of course, you can also access the detailed performance report for more information. If you need to download the report, please go to the bottom section of the Equipment and Results window as shown earlier. Since we are in the geolocated mode, the path profile and mounting data are now available. If you have multiple links in the project, you can make a side-by-side -side comparison between any of them by checking the white box that appears at the left side of each link when you roll the cursor over it. In the comparison window, you can find all the estimation info for every link including the detailed report. You can also change the equipment from here in order to compare the performance of different devices. If you need to design chain links for long distance connections, you can do this simply by clicking on the Add New Link button after setting the coordinates for the first link. The next link will have the first site in the same location as the second site of the previous link while the location of the second site of the new link can be set from the site settings panel as shown earlier.
As you can see, the new Info Planner proves to be a useful tool for every customer. Whether you only need a quick link estimation based on distance or a more thorough design of all future connections with the exact unit locations, Info Planner is the right tool for the job. It also enables you to predict operational expenses according to the needs of your wireless network. Moreover, Info Planner supports not only integrated antennas for Infinite Wireless products, but also generic external antennas in order to add more flexibility to your project planning. Enjoy using the InfoPlanner tool and Infinite Wireless products. Thank you for watching.